Welcome guys to another video regarding chapter number 1 sets. In today's video, we shall all study about exercise 1.4 and exercise 1.5. Before going through the exercise, let us go through some important topics. The first one is your operation on sets. Under this topic, the first one that comes is nothing more than your union. Union of sets. Your union of sets is denoted by U. Similarly to U. So this sign is nothing more than your union. The definition is stated as the union of two sets A and B denoted by A union B. It is read as A union B. Okay is a set of all those elements which are either in A or in B or in both A and B. So that's your definition. For me, whenever union comes, it's very easy to understand in a simple manner. So I will just say union means nothing more than your combination. Union means nothing more than your combination. In short, I have to combine both the elements. All right, let us do some exercise in order to know what do you mean by union of sets. Alright, in exercise 1.4, question number 1 is been given as like this. Find the union of each of the following pairs of set. Number 1, x is equal to 1, 3, 5 and y is equal to 1, 2, 3. I have to find the union between x and y. So, your x union y, as I said, your union, it means nothing more than your combination. So, in short, I have to combine the elements of both x and y. And also we know that whenever you are doing any set, there won't be any repetition of elements. So write down only one time. So if I combine them, the answer will be 1, 2, 3, 5. That's the combination. Okay, in a similar manner, let me do question number 3. Your question number 3 happens to be A is equal to X. X is a natural number and... multiple of 3 and B happens to be X X is a natural number less than sorry X is a natural number less than 6 so this one you both A and B is nothing more than in your set builder form. So let me first of all write down in a roster form. So you have to write down it's given x is your natural number and multiple of 3. So what are natural number multiple of 3? The first one happens to be 3, 6, 9 goes on. And similarly your b is given x is a natural number less than 6. So natural number less than 6 happens to be nothing more than uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are natural number less than 6. So the next term would be a union B. So if I combine them, so answer would be nothing more than 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, and then so goes on. So that's all about your union. Alright, then comes question number 4. The question number 4 happens to be if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, B is equal to 3, 4, 5, 6, C is equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, and D is equal to 7, 8, 9, 10. The question, let me do question number 5. Your question number 5 happens to be is given A union B union C. So what is A? Your A is nothing more than 1, 2, 3, 4. Your B is 3, 4, 5, 6. And your C is nothing more than 5, 6, 7, 8. Now everything is about union. And union, we know that it's nothing more than your combination. So if I combine them, remember, whenever you're doing a set, only one element will come. You cannot continue the same elements. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Because 3 and 4 are both over here. So I'm just starting on one more time. So 5, 6. Similarly, 5 and 6 are both in B and C. So I'm going to write them only one time. So 7, 8. So that's your answer similarly uh, if i do number seven your number seven is given b union c union d so your b happens to be three four five six and your c happens to be five six seven eight and seven eight nine ten so in short 
I have to combine them. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is all about your B union, C union, D. Alright, the next topic under the operation of sets is nothing more than your intersection of sets. And it's denoted by just like an inverted U. Okay, this sign is nothing more than your intersection. Okay, so it's given that the intersection of two sets A and B denoted by A intersection B. We read this one is nothing more than your A intersection B. Is a set of all elements which are common to both A and B. Remember this one common. Okay, so just like union was nothing more than your combination, your intersection is nothing more than your common. So whenever you are doing intersection between two sets, we have to find common between the two sets. I hope you are clear. So let us do some exercise. Alright, exercise 1.4, question number 5 is given. Find the intersection of each of the pair of the sets. Number 1. Question number 5, we have to do just like your question number 1, every, every question. So the only difference is that over here, I have to find intersection. Intersection means nothing more than your common. So what's common between X and Y? If we can look properly, there's only one term. That is only 1, 1. So answer will be 1. Similarly, if I happen to do number 5, is given A is equal to 1, 2, 3, and B is equal to 5. Your 5 means nothing more than your empty set. So is there any common between A and B? So A intersection B, that nothing is common because there is no element over here. So the answer would be 5. So this is all about your intersection. Alright, in a similar manner, let us do question number 6. So question number 6 given if A is equal to 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, B is equal to 7, 9, 11, 13, C is equal to 11, 13, 15, and D is equal to 15, 17. I have to find some problems. So let me do with question number 3. Your question number 3 happens to be A intersection C intersection D. Alright, I'll just make a little bit... Uh, something over here that's I'll just make a bracket over here which is not going to affect anything so if I do that so your A happens to be 3 5 7 9 11 intersection your C happens to be 11 13 15 intersection and it do happens to be 15 and 17 so if you can look over this element and this element can you see what's common the only thing common over here is 11 11 so write on that it's 11 so intersection 15 17 so is there any common between these two elements no right so answer would be fine okay and similarly uh, number 8 let me do number 8 so number 8 is given to be nothing more than a intersection b union d so it's given to be a is nothing more than 3 5 7 9 11 intersection your b is given to be 7 9 11 13 union 15 17 right so same thing 3 5 7 9 11 intersection now uh, as given for union so union means i have to combine everything 11 13 15 17 now, can you tell me what's common between these two elements? I can see only 7, 9, and 11. So, that's your answer. Alright, again one thing I forgot to mention about some properties of both your union and your intersection. So, it will be popping up at your video. You can see over there, there are some 5 properties in both your union and your intersection. Just go through over that. I hope it was clear till there. Alright, the next topic under operation of sets is the difference of set. Over here, the definition is given to be for any set A and B, the difference A minus B is defined as A minus B is equal to X, X belongs to A, and X does not belong to B, where X belongs to A minus B. So in very short, if I have to define this definition, it means that whatever elements belongs to A only and not to B. Okay, so let us do some examples from the exercise. Okay, the question is given to be if A is equal to 3, 6, 9, 12, A as 12, 15, 18, 21, B is equal to 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 
c is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and d is equal to 5, 10, 15, 20. Then the first one is given to be number 1 is given a minus b. Remember, whenever you're doing a difference of any set, you just have to take the elements of the first set only and not of the second set. So in short, if I do a minus b, I have to remove the element of b from a. Okay, so if you can look over these two properly, whatever elements are there in b, it's 4, 8, 12, 6, and 20, right? That means I have to remove 12 from a. So the answer would be nothing more than 3, 6, 9, 15, 18, 21. I'll be clear. Similarly, number 2, uh, number 3, I'll do number 3, is given to be a minus d. So same thing, I have to remove the elements from of d from a. So if you can look over here properly, I have only 15, 15 are the common elements, right? So just remove 15. So the answer would be 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 21. Okay, so in a similar manner, if I happen to ask you d minus a, that's number 6. So d minus a, it means I have to remove the elements of a that belongs to d. So same thing between d and a, what is common? The common term are 15, right? So it will be nothing more than 5, 10, 20. In a similar manner, number 11, if I have to do that, c minus d, it's given to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 14, 16. You can just check. Why I got this one is because the only common term between C and D is nothing more than your pen. You can look over here. Okay, C and lastly, number 12. So that's D minus C. So what's common between D and C? The common term is 10. So 10 will be removed. So it will be 5, 15, 20. So these are your example okay i did example from the exercise 1.4 question number is your complement of a set a complement of a set let me just say a dash this dash it indicates nothing more than your complement okay a dash or yeah so it's given that let u be the universal set and let a is a subset of u a is a subset of u Okay, then the complement of A denoted by A dash or U minus A is defined as A complement is equal to X belongs to U and X does not belong to A. Okay, such that X does not belong to A. In short, whenever you're doing complement, there should always be a universal set. So, if I have to write it in a very simple terms, it means if X belongs to A complement, it implies that X does not belong to A. I guess you're clear with the definition. In a similar manner, let us do some exercise. Okay, before going through the exercise, there are some properties over here in complement of the set also. Very much important properties, which is popping up in the video. Just go through that one also in a similar manner. Alright, let us do exercise 1.5. Question number 1 is given. If u is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, u is nothing more than universal set. Okay, so your universal set over here comprised from 1 till 9. And A is given to be 1, 2, 3, 4. B is given to be 2, 4, 6, 8. And C, 3, 4, 5, 6. So find number 1 is given to be A complement. Your A complement is nothing more than U minus A. That means I have to remove the elements of A from your universal set. So if I have to remove the elements of A from your universal set, it means I have to remove 1, 2, 3, 4. So the answer would be nothing more than 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I hope you're clear. Similarly, your B complement, number 2, will be U minus B. So that will be, I have to remove B from U. So that will be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So number 3, your number 3 is given to be A union C complement. So first of all, do the bracket 1. So if I do A union C, A is how much? 1, 2, 3, 4. Union C is three four five six complement so your answer would be one two three four five six why because union means combination i have to combine these two sets so complement so that means i have to remove this whole thing nothing from them from you that's the universal set so if i remove this one if i cut till number six so what's left seven eight nine so the answer would be seven eight nine so this is all about your complement
And lastly, if I happen to do number five, is given to be a complement of complement, which is nothing more than according to your properties, that's nothing more than your a. So what is a? A is nothing more than one, two, three, four. So this is all about your complement of a set.